So I've listened to the new album Showdown. I'm super excited because it sounds so classic with the 80s, with also an infusion of today. What made you decide at 35 years to come back with such an amazing album and it being in all English? まあ、今回のアルバムを聴きましたで、クラシックの80年代のサウンドとあと現代の要素もあって非常に素晴らしい出来だと思いますでこの35周年でこの35周年を記念して、まあ、このどうしてこのようなアルバムをすべてこう英語の、えー、アルバムを作ろうというふうに思いに至った動機は何でしょうか、えっとまあ、35周年というあの節目で何か新しいことにチャレンジしようっていうあの思いが強かったっていうのもあるしあとはえー、と27歳の時もだから30年前に、えー、と海外に向けて、えー、とデビューをしたいなっていうみんなの夢があったそれで今回というアルバムを作ることになりました。Right. So, as this is their 35th anniversary, as you said, so they wanted to try something new. And they, one of the, the p u r p o s e to make this album was to break into the international market. So they decide to sing in English because they have been having a dream to you know, play internationally, even from the 30 years ago when they started. Great. And, you know, I missed the shows when they were in the States in the 80s. I was a little too young to be able to go、mm-hmm. to them. And I was hoping that this had something to do with maybe you guys were going to tour internationally again. Is that something that's going to be planned with the release of the album? まあ、ぜひそのショウヤの、えー、ライブを見てみたいんだけれども、このアルバムが出ることで、えー、海外ツアーというものが起こるという可能性はあるのでしょうあります。もちろん。シュア。いや、もちろん、they are planning, but the problem is, you know, the pandemic thing, you know. Yeah, absolutely. The pandemic has stopped a lot of events and a lot of artists from releasing. Was there any concern with releasing the album now? Being with the timing of the, with the pandemic, did you think maybe holding the album a little bit longer? COVID has really slowed things down. Yeah. With、um, the album, how did you decide to work with Nozumo and Jacob? あのプロデューサーとしていいのかなってなった時に若井くんと出会ってそれで若井くんがヤコブ・ハンセンを連れてきたんだけれどもそのヤコブ・ハンセンはやっぱり女性シンガーにすごい長けた人なので彼と一緒にやることで庄屋のサウンドもあのグレードアップするよっていう話だったのであのそういうことになりました。So, as they said, you know, breaking into the international market was one of the purpose of this album. So, they decided to hire a producer you know, who had an experience about the international market. And, the, you know, Nozomu had a lot of experience in working with Tommy Aldridge. And, you know, he has a band called Distinia. He worked with a lot of international、uh, artists. So, they thought, you know, Nozomu would be the best choice to make it happen. And the, Jacob was a、uh, you know, good friend of Nozomu. And Jacob is good at you know, working with a female singer. So that's one of the reasons they decide to work with Jacob. Yeah, and I have a lot of respect for Jacob. I'm really familiar with his work. So I was surprised to see them working with him. So it, it's a great mix because I could hear his touch on the final part of the album. うん、か彼女はそのヤコブ・ハンセンの大ファンで彼,、えー、彼がやってきた仕事を非常によく知ってるんだけど、うん、今回のアルバムを聞いてその子もジェイコブらしいタッチが聞こえて、まあ、非常に素晴らしかったと思うと思います。うんうんうん、so let me ask you a songs on the album. You've got some ballads, you've got some just blazing riffs. I, I love that you have a lot of really heavy bass lines and really sharp, clean guitars. What all went into the writing of this new album? 
、その今回のアルバムはバラードもあったりとか、一方でこうこの激しいベースとか、うんえー、激しい楽曲もあったりと、まあ、いろいろこう非常にバラエティーに取れると思うんですけれども、今回のアルバムに,、えー、に関して、まあ、その曲作りというのはどのようにして行ったのでしょうか。えーとまあ、自分たちの中に湧き上がってるその感情だったりとかっていうのを音にそれぞれが多分してるんだけれどもそれプラス、えー、若井くんが、えー、とこういう曲はどうだっていうのをあの提供してくれてかっこよかったんで、うん、そういうふうに曲は作っています。うん、so the, the the so they, you know, so、they just write something from the heart And this time, you know, Nozomu helped a lot in writing the, the song. So, so his taste, you know, because his, his input was, you know, one of the big i n f l u e n c e on the songwriting for this album. Great. Is there a favorite track that either of you have on the album now that it's done? Of t a r i Sore Sore, Konka and Arabama, the Okidin no Koku, the Mono Ara de Show. <laughs> it's, it's hard to choose, but <laughs> they're all your babies. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I know for me, as I was listening through. The tracks, it's really got this great the synthesizer keyboard infusion, and it really does justice to going to that feel of the 80s that made me always wonder why your band, Shoya, was not as popular as bands like Vixen and Lita Ford in that period when I feel in some of those places your music was much more superior.、Mm. Yeah. あの庄屋の音楽で特にそのキーボードというものが特にあのなんていう卓越したものがあると思っていてで80年代そのリタ・フォードとかビクセンという女性バンドが、はいまあ、アメリカにいたけれども、まあ、彼女はその庄屋の音楽の方が優れていると思うビクセンや、えー、リタ・フォード。にもかかわらず庄屋の方が知名度が低いというのはいかなることなのかとなぜ<笑><笑><笑> Go ahead. So, why did the show have a lot of people who were in the world? I don't know. 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 Because they were very huge in Japan, you know, so, and they are, they were. So, and the, one of the reasons is that back in the 80s, we didn't have any internet or anything. So, it's very hard for the foreign you know, fans to find the hidden gem in Japan, you know, in other countries. Probably that is one of the reasons they were not, you know, very well known as they deserve, you know. Yeah, I think that today's generation doesn't understand the pain that we felt in the 80s、mm-hmm. of having to import and、yeah. having to find pen pals to help you find、mm-hmm. music and share albums. So I was going to ask if that maybe what the limitation was from the 80s that maybe they felt for getting their music out, and that answered my question、mm-hmm. without even asking it. うん、あのまあ今の子供たちにとってその80年代の苦労ということはちょっとそう、まあ、想像するのが難しいんじゃないかとなかなかその海外の情報を知るためには輸入版を買ったりとかそれこそペンパルペンフレンドを見つけて、まあ、レコードを買ってもらったりなんて苦労したものだと思うので80年代に活動していく中でやっぱりその世界にこうリーチできないというようなその制限そのもどかしさみたいなものを感じたことはありますかそうですねありますね。<笑>もどかしさというかうん、やっぱり海外にそんなに簡単に行ける時代ではなかったので、うんうん、ただ庄屋の場合はあの割かし海外でレコーディングとかはさせてもらえてたかなって。うんうん、yeah, because it,、so、she felt it was very difficult in the 80s because just going abroad was not you know, easiest thing back then. But as far as Shoya goes, you know, they did a recording in, in the US and so they were, you know, it was a good thing. You know, for the 80s. So, I'm、uh, sorry. I'm 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 sorry. So, but back in the 80s, the Japanese record labels or management company did not know how to promote their band internationally. They didn't have any know how. To break into the you know, international market. So that 
is one of the reasons. Yeah, and I think that there's this growing underground for the the Japan metal artists and rock artists because I myself I I run a a YouTube channel that we do reactions and mm-hmm. my audience loves bands like Nimophilia and Mary's Blood and Bandmade and Shoya mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. we're deep into the scene and I think it's growing more here in the USA but also around the world. Do you think that? there are as many limitations today for Japanese artists to be heard outside? Or do you think the internet maybe has made that even harder with the streaming and now there's so much more access? え、ね、もひらとか、え、なんですか、まあ、ブロードみたいなそのバンドというものの人気というのは高まってきているような感じだけれども、インターネットが出てきたせいで、日本のアーティストが海外に出やすくなったと思うか、それとも逆にあまり
、えー、と80年代の,そのドロがあの男の社会の中でハードロックを女一人でやってるってことは本当に大変だったと思うし、うん、日本でもやっぱりあの女にハードロックはできないとかあのそういうことをずっと言われ続けてたので、うん、だからそれを打破するためにあのなんていうのかなとにかく必死に走り続けてたのが多分庄屋だと思うんだよね。うん、で、えー、と今の中でだとそんなになんだろうな今は地位が低いとは思わないけれどもそれでもやっぱりなかなかえー、とポップミュージックとかあの一般的に受け入れやすい音楽がやっぱりメディアを占めているので、うん、あのまだまだハードロックっていうジャンルは日本の中では、うん、なかなかメディアで受け入れてもらえないのかなって思いはあるけどでも庄屋はずっとメディアに出続けてるので、うん、あのもうこれからもそうやってたくさんの人にハードロックをしてもらうためにはこれからもずっとあの出続けようと思っています。えっと多分ドロもテレビとかメディアでコメンテーターやったりとかもしてると思うんで、同じようなことをずっと多分あの商屋も続けているし、これからも続けていく。So actually the Doro's participation was a suggestion by Nozomu. So and they are, you know, as they wanted to break into the international market, so it's it, you know they thought it would be a great idea to have a German legend. You know, on their albums, it help. It will, you know, it would help a lot. So, yeah, because in in eighties, so they, it's very easy to imagine how it was hard for Dora to work with a you know all male in a world. But uh, you know, when the Shoya had a you know the same kind of problem in the eighties because you know some people were saying that are、uh, the female. You know, the ladies could not play hard rock or anything. You know, some bullshit like that. But、uh, they never surrendered. So surrendered. So they kept fighting back, and and now even today they're still together. And even today, they and they think the the female musicians are you know getting a better situation these days. But still, hard rock is not something mainstream in Japan. So they have to keep fighting. And the shoya is you know. You know they are still on TV and on radio, major radio and major TV too, like Doro does in Germ, you know, in Germany. So you know they will keep doing it to change the the situation of hard work for the better, you know, as much as possible. And on that note, let me ask you: Is there anything about Shoya that you feel throughout the years that? People just don't understand about the band, or that maybe that there's been something written about you that was completely wrong that that maybe we can clear up now. えっと、商屋が活動してきた中で、人々が誤解していることとか、過去にその書かれた記事の中で、これは完全に間違ってるんだけどということで訂正したいようなことはありますか？ちょっとよくわかんない質問ですけど。なんだろうな。訂正したかったえっと。まあ、多分今の流れなんで、こう女性だからということで、こんなこと書かれたけど、その。あの、あの,あの一番あれなの、女性は長く続かない、女性はにロックができないってことは訂正してほしい。うん、いや、くす、さ、sometimes the artists in the articles said you know the the female rockers can't play long or you know female can you know cannot rock, she cannot play hard rock, you know, and she thinks you know those articles should be you know corrected right now. I agree. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So, what is what do you have to say for the fans? Because you guys have a diehard fan base that has supported you around the world, and whether it's the, the not the largest or the smallest, people come and they defend your music, they share your music, and they champion you everywhere. What do you have to say to those fans? えー、熱心なファンというのはいると思うんですけれども、その彼ら彼女たちに何か言いたいことがあるとすれば、どんどんなまメッセージでしょうか。うん、これからもずっと応援し続けてほしいって、商、う、屋、ん、のうんまあずっと商屋を見続けてほしいかなって、チャレンジしていく姿も何もかも。いや、そうそう、please keep supporting 商屋 forever because you know they they will be challenging a lot of things so they you know。They want the fans to keep watching them. Now, let me ask you this: What 
are the things you still have not done as a band that you want to do with your career? Ima bando to stay mother, just again dicti in a can tomo, the hit against Titum, my carrier on the cottage, against Titum Mokoto, one and the Yeah, international tour. International tour. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Okaniwa. 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 Judas Priest on your eye. So, meaning Judas Priest in person, in person. Yeah. Also, so, so meeting, oh, yeah, meeting Ozzy Osbourne in person. <laughs> I would love to see a tour with, with Shoya and Judas Priest. That would be absolutely insane. Judas Priest and Shoya on the tour, please see it. Yeah. On, on that note, let me ask you, is there a band or are there bands you would love to be on the same lineup with on tour? ま、一緒にツアーしたいバンド。が、どうしたら誰でしょう。ジュダスルちょっと。恐れ多いな。えっと。And <笑> いや、もしもしかしたらこのチャンネルをログハルフォードが見るかもしれないからきちんと言っといた方がいいですけど。いや、I <笑> And I would love to see more of that because I really loved the track that you did and the fact that it's built on, you know, heavy metal femininity is the track. And it, it, it's just that glorifying that we're women, we're, we can be in this industry and we're relevant and that there should be no limits to metal at all. It should be open and accessible to everyone. うん。まあ、その <laughs> so, yeah, please keep supporting us and see you in the US. Awesome. Guys, this has been Shoya, and the album is coming out on November 12th. It is called Showdown, and I've heard the entire album. It is absolutely amazing. It's everything that I know the American crowds and the English speaking crowds have asked for when it, they say, I would like to have an album from this band with them singing in English. This is the album. You don't need to not listen to their music because they speak in Japanese. You, mm -hmm. it, the music is emotional. You're going to feel it. So go find all of the old stuff. If you don't know Shoya, you want to know Shoya. And when the album comes out, you definitely want the album. You guys also have the import album um, that has a little bit of extras on there. You have, and I think I believe, I believe the album is already out in Japan. It came out August 30th. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. What, what has been the response from your fans in Japan alone already just on the new album? え、日本ではすでにアルバムが出てると思いますけれども、ファンからのリアクションとはどうですか。え、すごくいいです。で、すごくいいです。いや。リリリグレート。リリグレート。That's え、ま、その歌をね、言語を変えるというなるとちょっとファンもちょっと混乱したりとかすることもあると思うんだけれども、ま、そういうこともなくそのファンがきちんと評価してくれるっていうのは素晴らしいことだと思います。多分あの、
That's beautiful. Thank you so much for your time. And I'm super excited about the album coming out. It's beautiful. And I really hope that it gives you all of the success that we've been hoping you ha- could have all of these years. And I hope that it really breaks that international market open. And I really hope that when summer rolls around next year, we see you at some massive festivals in Europe, because that would be really cool. And here in the States, that that would be really a blessing for the fans. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Thank you.